Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Joanne and this is to Crochet Curious. Okay, so there is so much going on. I want to thank everybody for their support and love. Um, my first weekend home in a little while and I am trying to get myself organized because I'm going to have a very hectic schedule for the next three, roughly three months. Um, I'll be rotating back to California, uh, every other chemo, um, session. So, um, there's a lot going on. So I decided to get myself a little organized, which I kind of just have always flown by the seat of my pants and I might make plans, but then I don't really stick with them. So here's, here's what I at least think I'm going to be doing, uh, for, for the next several months. Um, I'm going to stick with Scrubby Sunday and make um, the donation uh, washcloths, etc., cetera, um, through uh, Veterans Day. And um, the things we're making Thursday, I'm not sure I can commit to doing that every month, but what I would like to do is start something new called the Things We're Making Thursday Channel Panel. And um, where I get together some of the makers. And that could include people who do not have channels if they were bold and wouldn't mind being on screen. So keep that in mind if you're interested in something like that. And you can email me. But um, we can have up to six people in a um, broadcast. We could record it if we have funny time zones. I'm not against recording things individually and piecing them together and making a video so everybody's not on the same chat, but at least they get a chance to weigh in on things. So um, if you're a maker and you do things we're making Thursday, and there are a multitude of you, um, it doesn't have to be the same people every week. We can switch off or you can just do a short video clip. Um, I can send you some questions. You can talk about them. and um, you know, people will get to know you through watching the Things We're Making Thursday channel panel. So um, that is what I'm going to be working on. Now, this is going to take me a little bit to get organized with. I have to write some questions, send them off to the makers, ask them who wants to participate and how they want to participate, and then start putting the content together. So um, I don't know when <laughs> this is going to start. But I will start it as soon as I can. Okay. I promise that. Sometimes it might be live. Sometimes it will be recorded. It just depends on the makers and their schedules and my schedule and what is the most convenient. Um, because we are all over the world. And so it's difficult to get that sorted. So, um, hmm. So if this is sounding interesting and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, I am 70 away from 500 and at 500, I plan on having a giveaway. And one of the items in my giveaway is sitting on my lap right now. Um, I have one and I got an extra one because I, it's so darn cute. Sloths are so in right now. In fact, I'm thinking Michelle, the crochet dog mom, is working on a sloth right now. So I just wanted to share this. It's a planner, a weekly planner. Slow down. Happiness is trying to catch you. And uh, I'm by no means a Bible scholar, but um, I know in the Bible somewhere, it says that God's favor is chasing you down. Um, and that's what I... That's what I think of when it, when I see that saying. So this is um by Lang Lang by Design. The Lang companies um makes it, and I bought. It had to come from Zulily because that was like my favorite shopping spot. Um, my husband has retired now, so I'm having to revamp my shopping strategies. 
<laughs> and I can't just shop willy nilly like I used to. So uh, I'm trying to be more circumspect about what I buy, but at the same time, and 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 using what I have, but at the same time, I just had a huge yarn haul, and I ordered more yarn for with my gift certificate for my birthday this morning. So I've got some exciting things coming for that. And, but I have loads of patterns, loads of, loads of resource here. And, um, and I have a plan and I'm going to be working my plan. So we'll see what happens. Um, so on Mondays, I'm going to start a new feature. And it's going to be called, and I did announce this in uh, something I just filmed in the last day or so. Well, the last day, because. I just thought of it yesterday. <laughs> okay, um, where to go? Uh, never have I ever. So I've never played the game Never Have I Ever, but in regards to crochet, Never Have I Ever, there are a number of crochet styles and things that I have not done. And my lack of experience can either be wildly entertaining for you or instructive or um, consider it uh, my way of warning you off. I don't know. You're going to have to watch and find out. But um, never have I ever. I'm going to do, I have five projects, style of projects picked out. The first two, I know exactly what I'm going to do for them. And I don't know how long it will take me to do them, but I'm thinking that these things will take several weeks each. Given that I don't have unlimited crocheting time. And I, I hope it wouldn't stretch on longer than that, but I, I can't promise. <laughs> but I'll keep updating you, whatever happens. Um, but the first one, um, the second one is intimidating to me, so I'm not going to start with the second one. I'm going to start with the first one. And the first one is intimidating also, but what the heck, I'm going to give it a shot. First one's going to be making a mandala blanket. I have not done anything like this yet. Um, and I picked out a design in this book from Annie's Crochet, Mandala Style Throws to Crochet. 15 beautifully textured afghans. And the one I'm going to do is in there called the Fall Comfort Throw. This is a picture of it. And it requires some um, Lion Brand Cupcake Light, 590 yards, Lion Brand Mandala Light, um, 590 yards and a total of six colors. Now, I don't have the colors that they showed, but I do have some mandala uh, DK. And so I picked out three different colorways that I think match pretty well. And I'm going to make my mandala from them. So, uh, let me show you that. The first one I'm using is Nifflers. Try to get the glare off of that. There you go. Nifflers is um, Lion Brand Yarns Mandala. Uh, 590 yards. It is 100% acrylic. Three light, three DK weight. And um, I have two of those, which I need two of the colorway. And you see they're completely wound, completely different. And then I have two of this one, which is Pixie. And it has some similar coloration in it. I think that'll go pretty well. Uh, two of those, and I have one of these bonus bundles, 1181 yards. And this one is Genie, and I see them, the three of them, to, 
I can't hold them all together. Let me try this. There we go. So that's going to be the colorways. And um, I think I have the right amount of yarn and I have the instructions. And this will be my first one. So hopefully it's not too hard. And I, I picked an intermediate level. The, um, the easiest one in there, I think, is a considered an easy, but um, it's, um, it's pretty easy. It's probably akin to something I've already done. So I went to the intermediate level. There is a, there's six levels of difficulty in there. Well, actually, there isn't. There's four levels of difficulty because they don't have any ones and twos. They have three, one three, a bunch of fours, a few fives, and one six. And um, the sixth level one is this one on the front cover. And that one is quite intricate. Um, there's some other styles that are in there. And this is the one I'm doing here. These, uh, these monochrome ones are really pretty. Um, and I do have, um, I don't know if I have enough of a single color to do, but I do have some large amounts of some colors that, so maybe I could do one of those one time, but be my first time doing a mandala style throw. And I'm very excited about that. Now, um, of course, because I get a little distracted sometimes, I never showed you the inside of this. So it's wire bound and it's 52 weeks. They're not dated, which is good for me because I'll use it for three weeks and then I won't use it for a year. Um, and then it just has your week and it has you highlight a few things you definitely want to make sure you get done. And uh, I don't know, it's cute and I like it. And it's you could use it like you can stand it on your desk like this so you can keep an eye on what you said you were going to do. Things like that. So, and then um, some other things I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, I inventoried, I inventoried my whips and my planned projects, which now I've, now that I've done some more organizing, I've found two or three or four more. And then I ordered kits so those are projects I want to do as well yeah there's a lot um so the new project list is not completed but the whips I think I have documented all of my whips so oh I just uh threw my where did you go Hold on. I have a little remote to stop my video when it's time, and it was sitting on top of something, and I just threw it across the room there. All right. I need a safe place for that baby. Okay. So um, I've told you in the past that I'm going to try to do some tutorials, and I am. I'm going to start with basic, basic. I belong to a number of beginner crochet groups, like on Facebook. People are constantly like, I don't understand. Is this what a chain is? And I mean, a lot of basic building blocks of crochet. So that's what I'm calling my little series. And I don't know when it will post. It will be as I do them. So what I will do is talk to myself while I'm doing it for ad nauseum till I feel like I can explain it in the best possible way. And then I will do a video saying, building block number one, make a slip note. <laughs> and um, then uh, I'm actually, I don't know, this is all scary. I'm working towards maybe having a, a blog as well where I will put some of this stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll see how this all goes. But um, 
the building blocks, I think that there's some natural progression to certain things. Like once you make a slip knot to start your work, um, then there's all the variations of ways that you can start things like, and even as much as, you know, skipping the foundation chain and making a foundation row, which I have watched a lot of videos of that and I don't get that one yet. So, um, I think that I think there's room in the market for more of that kind of thing. So I'm going to explain things the way I understand them, shoot my hands, doing what I'm talking about, and um, putting captions on it. Uh, that's another thing is I'm working towards getting captions on all my videos. So even hearing impaired people can figure out what's going on. And I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to work on that. So tutorials is one of the things I want to do. And then um, yarn reviews. Um, I, I get so many yarns I've never worked with. And people say, I've never worked with that. So I'm just going to start doing some yarn reviews. It's something that I could record in advance and, and post when I'm really busy. And then I'll have extra things maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I might have extra things to post. Maybe not. The other thing I thought of, see now, and a lot of this stuff has come to me since I started using that whack pack I talked about in one of my other videos. I bought the whack pack off Amazon, and it's helping me think about things in different ways. So, um, I love chunky yarn. I have quite a bit of it now, and I have a, a bunch of like basket bottoms and things of that nature. So. I'm going to also start a series called Basket Battles, and the there's a lot of shapes and sizes and color combinations and different yarns you can use, and I am just going to make a variety of baskets, and they make great gifts for my family, my extended family, and um, I want to make uh, my father-in-law lives in Portugal and has his team his soccer team, his football team that he loves, and uh, it's sporting, and I want to, you know, make him a basket, a low basket for his paraphernalia on his dresser um, that's in his team colors, and I just, you know, I just want to do things um, that bless people, and I have so much here and so many things I want to do in my head. I am so jealous of that big basket that um, Cinnamon Stitches has in her yarn room. That lovely big basket that she puts like, I don't know if she puts scraps in there or Christmas yarn or whatever she put in there. And she's like, I'm going to use all this yarn in this big basket. <laughs> but the basket, I was like, oh, I want a basket that big. So um, I'm not really sure what uh, it takes to make a basket that big, but gosh, we could find out. So basket battles, that's uh, another thing I would like to do. And then um, I want to continue my size inclusive. Um, you know, it won't be um, once a week probably, but I do want to continue to size up patterns and talk about the challenges. and. The things that work and don't work and so forth. And so um, that kit I just got from Mary Maxim, that's the vest. I'm going to, that'll be my size inclusive project that I'm going to be working on. But as you can see, I, I always have several projects going. So there will be a variety of projects. It'll keep me fresh. And, um, you know, there will be like weekly, I plan on doing the Never Have I Ever every week. Um, the rest of the stuff I won't end Scrubby Sunday, but the rest of the things will be, you know, not as scripted like when it happens. And it'll just be, okay, I'm this far, it's time to update basket battles or, okay, you know, whatever it is. So I'll just keep um, working with that. And then I really like doing my shorts also. The um, shorts are. Um, 
I've been doing them like if you were to search yarn love, uh, good day to crochet. Uh, I, I've done shorts titled that, a bunch of them, and um, you could see them. I'll put the uh, title. It, they all have the same title, but it's different videos. So um, I'll put those in the description box so you can look them up if you wanted to. So I just want to talk about my whips real quick. Um, the whips that I have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> I have eleven whips that I'm willing to talk about and consider um, that I do want to finish them. Um, there's probably a couple more laying around that maybe I'm not that into and will probably get frogged, but. Um, I was making the Mary Maxim kit that I got last month, the Daybreak Poncho. I swear, I'm an hour, maybe two hours from finishing that thing. I got to finish it. It's going to come out the size of my granddaughter, but it'll be done. I will have finished it. I'm happy about that. And I have an extra skein, so I can always do something else with that if I want to. It's really pretty yarn. It's the uh, Mary Maxim something yarn. Mary Maxim Twisted. It's not on their website. So I don't know if this is just a specialty thing they made up specifically. See if I can get the color to come out. There. That's. That's pretty good. Pink, pinky, shades of pink and brown. Um, so anyway, working on that, um, maybe two hours. Okay, so that's at the top of my whip list, along with my size inclusive, because I only have like eight more rows to do, I think. Maybe less. And I don't think that'll take more than a couple of hours either. So I have both of those marked as being top priority. They're sitting next to my chair in the bedroom waiting for me to sit down and get some crochet done. And um, I've filmed enough this weekend. I think I'm done filming. I still have a, a little editing to do. I have one. I have Scrubby Sunday to edit and this. Um, but this will be, I'm going to show this on Monday night. Uh, introducing uh, Never Have I Ever. Um, then the other whips I have, um, you will be familiar with them if you have watched my videos. And if you haven't, just look around, you'll find them all. <laughs> the Hexi Cardigan, um, I still have to finish that. That's going to take a little design work. So I was estimating um, maybe five hours to finish that because I have to figure out my sleeves and and then I have to get the one half to match the other half. I've done a lot of the detail on one half and I haven't done it on the other half. Um, so yeah, maybe five hours on that one. I think I might try to keep track of my time on these and see how accurate I am at guessing how long it takes me to do stuff because typically I will underestimate. I'm good at that. Um, then I have my Coco's Crochet Scrap. Uh, Afghan scrap blanket that I made on the crochet along with Coco's crochet. And I still have to finish the free form. I've done some free form. Um, I haven't figured out how to link them together or how to get them onto the blanket or laid them out or anything. Uh, I need more um, shapes and stuff. And I just, it got set aside because I had life happening and um so i think that i could probably do that in about six hours if i if i was pressing and like i could spend a saturday afternoon just working on that that reminds me i have a haircut appointment i gotta go to then i'm making a chemo cap for my mom uh that should be a short one maybe hour hour and a half to finish that and then the lovely shawl that my daughter gave me that goes not quite as fast. I'd say I probably have about 10 hours left on that. Zoe's bedspread, who knows how long, because I have to frog a bunch and redo them and, or relay it out. 
But I have the measurements. Maybe I'll just relay it out with different sizes. I don't know. Um, but I'm trying to be generous, saying 20 hours to finish that. Then I have a poncho I started making for Zoe almost a year ago. And that is about eight hours to finish that, probably. Two raffia, a raffia bucket hat and a pink cotton bu bucket hat. So I think I could finish those in a couple of hours. And then I have my TL Yarncraft baby blanket. I think maybe about eight hours on that. I don't know. Then that is all my whips. <laughs> so when I added it all up, it was like 70 hours. So that'll stretch out over a couple of months, probably. Um, anyway, and then I, you know, I'll just, I'll just be doing what I do, which is coming up with new things to do all the time. Because I'm curious about everything. So I really enjoyed spending time with you and I really appreciate you guys. You guys have been awesome about, you know, my mom and everything. It's just, you guys are really supportive and I appreciate it. I want to support you guys too. So I'm trying to have content that's interesting and that you like. Um, and I will just keep working at all of this and growing my channel and hopefully, um, We'll have a good giveaway soon. That'd be fun. So, uh, I have to go get a haircut because I am a shaggy girl. And I will talk to you later. Thank you. Have a good evening.